I think that the ultimate goal, you know, being mid value is like having the freedom to, you know, take things to scale things. Right. Like, and I guess that's just something that I've been thinking about lately. Like mm. how do I get to the next level? Not because, yeah. not because I want a bigger ego or I want to, you know, impress everybody with a Bugatti, but like, <laughs> how do I just get to the next level? Like it's, it's like an intrinsic desire to want to be at yeah. that next level. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The next um, level, you know, I reckon is just w make win-wins with people who, who, you know, and your contacts. And then because they already have the clients, and now it's just, you've already got the leads because of who you are. People want to work with you because they like you, you know? So now it's just a matter of to get to the next step, you just need to find those people who have the already connections, already made, and then try and offer them value and see what they can offer you back. Because once you give to them, they're going to give, they're going to give you more, more than you can, you can ever ask for. So that's, I think, the next step for you, man. It's just like once you have the skills and you, you know your product is good and you know you're real, then it's just a matter of now how do I get this to the most amount of people? And then the way I've realized over time is is by like focusing on other people now, like networking and, and because we really have the business, we really yeah, have everything. Yeah. It's just now, it's just a matter of getting that message out and then look at the people who already like have target audiences towards you, make a spreadsheet or whatever, get your VA to do it, write a spreadsheet out of all the people you want to work with and then just reach out to them, offer them free value. Just say, just say look, uh, you know, I can get on a call with you, we can discuss your business and, and we, can, we can just discuss, we can just talk. And then once they see who you are, they're going to want to work with you, man. That's what I would suggest. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good piece of advice to people who are just just at the bottom too, in a sense, like, like, with people who don't have online businesses, I say that, like, understand, like, for example, with my friend with the OnlyFans business, right? Like, I, I was dating this girl that did OnlyFans, but she was only making like $2,000 a month, right? So I'm like, talk to her, like the girl making $20,000 a month is probably yeah. not going to talk to you talk to the one that makes $2,000 a month, like, yeah. understand how this girl made $2,000 a month in and out upside down, make the $2,000 a month. And yeah. then maybe, you know, we'll meet the girl who makes $20,000 a yeah. month. But like, that's the first step is like, yeah. connect with somebody who's like, just one little step ahead of you. And then you can get the information like, um, yeah. so you can go and then meet the other yeah. people. Yeah. So if you're at the very bottom and you're still stuck in your parents' basement, like reach out to somebody that, you know, is, exactly. is a little, is a little bit broke, but is already living the life that yeah. you kind of want. And then nice. you can, Everyone's you can open take to that. it from Everyone's there. Open to if you're nice and genuine, you know, if you're genuine and they can see that, you know, they're like, okay, if you really respect what they're doing and you want to become like that, just, just message them. So they get rid of this ego. A lot of people like, bro, I, there's so many guys I meet here, just normal guys, 21 year old, 22 year old from the UK. And then I give them my Instagram and they feel insecure. They're like, I can't, I'm not him, but I, I want to be like him. Okay, what's he doing? He's not responding to my message. Okay, I'm not going to respond to his message. But it's like, they don't open their minds to realize, look, I know the answers and I'm willing to give you all the truth. It's just a matter of you having to like lower your ego now and just understand that I'm, I'm here to help you. I'm not here to try taking anything from you, you know? There's no point of doing this like, because I understand people well, man. Like this guy messaged me today. He's like, oh, how was the party? But he's like my barber. He wants to work with me, but he's like, Oh, how, so how was the party, bro? Uh, did you meet Andrew Tate, all this stuff? And he's like, uh, by the way, do you think I should start a business? So he wants to take value from me by asking me questions, but he doesn't really watch my story because I post everything in my story. He can just watch my story and see all the fucking posts and he can see the people I met and then he can even reach out to them if he wanted to. He can say, yo, I'm, I'm this guy's friend. I cut his hair. I cut your hair. But because he doesn't want to listen to that because he has an ego, his ego is involved because he thinks, oh, this guy's the same age as me, all this stuff. And he's really doing all this stuff. Like he doesn't want to like give that leverage, but it's just because it's all ego, man. So yeah, yeah. You what, well, you know what's interesting is like that that envy because uh, I yeah. I cover this a lot on my channel. Yeah, that envy is it's it it's a compass toward everything that you secretly want in life, and a lot of guys don't have yeah. the courage to look at it because, like you said, it hurts their ego so much to look at it when in reality everything you want in life is that. So your friend in that situation, yeah. what you should do is be like, man, I feel kind of like jealous of air, but like that should inspire him instead and say, yeah. Oh, well, that means that I really want this stuff. I shouldn't hate exactly. air. I should, yeah. I should, I shouldn't be hard on air. I should be hard on myself for being like, Oh, well, you know, I, I can do what he does. Like air is a great guy, but like there's, if he can do it, I can do it. It should inspire him. Right. Yeah, I think exactly. a lot of people instead, they respond with uh, yeah. hatred or some sort of. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Because that's, if, a, that's a way for them to not, put the responsibility on themselves yeah because most people don't, don't want to, they say girls don't want to take accountability guys are just as bad we don't want to take yeah. accountability we don't want to accept yeah. that the reason that our life is the way it is because we've been doing the things we've been doing you know yep. they don't want to accept that they want to be like nah it's someone else's fault it's my mom's fault it's my dad's fault but they don't really they need to do the inter internal work and figure all that shit out and get happy with themselves and then once they're happy with themselves they can really fucking excel in life because 
I've met millionaires and they're unhappy, man. I've, I've, I've met people who have everything that they want and they're still unhappy. And the reason they're unhappy is because they're not living true to their, their self. They sold out. They fucking bought a, they got a brand deal and they took it when they shouldn't be making yeah. their own product. That, that, that yeah. inspires people, that helps people, you know? So it's straight up, man. It's just like people have this ego and then they think that the, the quick fix is the is the sponsorship or whatever little thing it is, but they don't realize they have to, they have to there's no escaping the work. You've got to do the work. There's no escaping well, that. One important networking tip that I learned, you know, in, in my years of, of doing business online is like, if you message somebody and they don't respond, even if they saw it and they don't respond, like if there's somebody that actually has shit going on, like message them again, you know, yeah. message them again. Like, yeah. don't be like, oh, he didn't see my message. He doesn't want to work with me. You know, he's an asshole, whatever. Like repeatedly, like if you want to work with some, obviously like, it's like, like Alex says with a girl, like maybe they're busy. Maybe they have shit going on. Like I'll offer them value, send them a funny meme, like message yeah. them again. So you might annoy some people, but some people will appreciate it. Like if somebody is really trying to like, really trying to reach out, like, you know, eventually you're going to be like, okay, I will give this guy what he wants. You know, he keeps asking yeah. me, so I don't want to be an asshole, you know, because at a Go certain on. point it goes on the other person where they are being an asshole. If you're repeatedly messaging them, yeah. and they're ignoring you, willingly ignoring you. Another um, thing I'd say as well, you can also give value to them. So like their posts, comment on their posts saying fire emojis, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. Nice, be genuine because they, because that's not, because when you message them, you want to take because you're, you're doing it privately. But when you do it publicly, when you do it on the comments and, and then you're giving them that free value of like, yeah, I'm letting people know that I'm trying to chase you and I have no ego. I have no problem with that. Then it's like it changes the game because then they're like, oh, this guy's different. This guy actually wants to get to know me and he actually like likes my message. He fucked with my shit. Comment him on post. Because, bro, everyone's insecure. Everyone's like posting all this shit on Instagram and, and, and YouTube and all this stuff to make themselves look good, right? Because they want to get women. They want to get money, whatever it is. But then if you could show them that, yeah, I understand that. But I also want to give to you because I, I come from a place of abundance. Then it's like it becomes simple, man. It's just one plus one equals two, no matter where you go. The truth is the truth, man.